Okay, this is video two, and I just want to show you at the bottom of your journal, the last thing we talked about was the area, and the answer was 120,000 square feet. So now we are going to turn our journal page, and on the next side, we're going to write powers of 10. Actually, you know what? I think it might be helpful instead of us writing it to use page 143. So push pause on the video until you get out page 143 in your math workbook. It says unit four, lesson one, powers of 10. And then just quickly get your name and number on that. And I think instead of us writing out all the different things, I think what I would like us to do is just to cut out, um, is just to cut out a really important part. So let's take a look at what this text says and then we will cut out what we need. So it says powers of 10. Expressions with repeated factors such as 10 times 10 times 10 can be written by using a base with an exponent. The base is the number that is used as the repeated factor. The exponent is a number that tell how many times the base is used. So we've actually talked about powers of 10 before and we talked about the base being the number and the little exponent is the power. It's the one in charge, remember? That little exponent tells that number, 10, to throw itself down that many times. So you're going to take 10 and throw it down three times. So 10 and 10 and 10. And we know that 10 times 10 times 10 can also be represented as 10 to the third. And when we do 10 to the third, we call it the third power of 10 or 10 raised to the third power. But it also means a thousand because one times one times one is just one. And then you have one, two, three zeros. So it's just like before where you cover up all the zeros, multiply the other factors, and then those zeros that you covered up, you unveil them and add them to the end. So it's very, very similar. Um, so instead of us writing all this information out, we're gonna cut it and glue it in our journal in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and look at number 45. It says write each expression as repeated multiplication and solve. So what they mean is they just want us to say what is 10 to the second power. That's all they want. They want us to they want to know what is 10 to the second power. Well, 10 to the second power means 10 times 10. Because it's a 10 thrown down two times. So there's one 10 and there's the second 10. So 10 times 10, if you didn't know, is 100. But let's say you didn't know what it was. You could cover up the zeros and it would be one times one is one with two zeros. Let's pick up our same violet red color and just kind of show there's two zeros there. And so just like before, there has to be two zeros in our answer. All right, what does number 46 mean? 10 to the fifth power. It means you throw 10 down, that's the base, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Get them all written. Make sure they say times in between. And then just ask yourself, what's one times one times one times one times one? <laughs> Hopefully you know it's just one. And then how many zeros were there? Pick up that violet color. How many zeros are there total? I can count five. So I put five zeros in my answer, and then I've got to put a comma where it belongs. So you begin at the end, move over three places, and place the comma. So the answer is 100,000. Let's try number 47. 10 to the fourth power. I'm going to freeze it, and you try to solve this. Oh, it didn't freeze. Let me try again. It's not letting me freeze it, you luckies. I guess I'm not going to actually freeze it. Maybe it won't let it because it's zoomed in so much. I don't know. Anyway, so it's four tens. How do I know that it's four? Because of this little exponent. The exponent tells the base how many times to throw it down. So one, two, three, and four. 
1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And how many zeros were there? You got it. You got to use this violet color, red violet. Four zeros. So make sure you put the comma where it belongs. The answer is 10,000. Number 48 is really interesting. What is 10 to the first power? It's really easy. The base is 10, and the exponent tells you to throw it down once. So you just throw it down once. And what is 10 equal to? <laughs> 10. 1 times 1 is 1. It doesn't even matter. It's just 10 one time. Super easy. Okay, now let's solve these next set of problems. These are really interesting. Um, they basically are practicing this 1 times 1, or the 10 times 10, making sure you know how to use an exponent. So it says use an exponent to write each repeated multiplication. So they want us to write it like this. 5 is not an exponent, or 5 is not a power of 10. So you just write 5 times, and this is a 10, the base 10 thrown down twice. So the base is 10 and the exponent is 2. So it looks like 5 times 10 to the second. Um, I actually think we should solve that as well. I think that would be a good skill. So you don't need to panic because it'll be really easy. Watch. What is 5? If you were to take 10, like if you just go cover up the zeros up here, cover up that one and that one, you'd have 5 times 1 times 1. So that's 5. And then how many zeros are there? 1, 2. Or this little 2 would tell you, put two zeros in there. So 1, 2. So 5 times 10 to the second power is 500. Will you show that those two zeros are right there? All right, next one. 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Well, this is in the power of 10, so it's 3 times 10 to the what power? 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 10 to the 4th power. You really need to make that look like an exponent, not a 104, an exponent of 4. So it's going to be 3 times 1 with 4 zeros. 3 times 1 is 3. And now I have four zeros, and I put the comma where it belongs. Let's double check that there are four zeros. Yep. Okay. Number 51. Nine times 10 to what power? Well, how many times did 10 get thrown down? If you said three times, you were right. 9 times 10 to the third is a 9 with three zeros. A 9 with three zeros looks like 9,000. Number 52 is really easy. You should just know what 2 times 10 is. It's 20. But if you want to still be using that strategy with powers of 10, it would just be 2 times 10. How many times was it thrown down? once. It's a 2. 2 times 1 is 2 with a 0. So even though we know that 2 times 10 is 20, it's still the strategy to use um, the base and exponent for how many zeros. All right, number 53. Take a look at this. Write it as repeated multiplication. 7 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 7 times 10 to what exponent? to the fifth. So it's going to be a seven times one with five zeros. And make sure you put the right commas on there. Here's how I prove that there are five zeros. And number 54. This is written like one times ten to the second power because there's two tens, two tens. It's going to be a one times one, which is one, with two zeros. Here's me proving it has two zeros and showing it. So I just want to reiterate to you that powers of 10 are really, really 
powerful. <laughs> um, it's helpful to know what each of these stand for. That way you can just mentally check. So here's an example. What is 10 to the second power? It equals 100. 1 just equals 1. 10 to the second is 100. Is 1 times 100 100? Yes. Try the next one. What is 2 times 10 to the first power? It's just 2 times 10. And does that equal 20? Yes. What is 3 times 10 to the fourth? That means 3 times what is 10 to the fourth? It's a 1 with four zeros. 3 times 10,000. Is 3 times 10,000 30,000? Yes. Again, work backwards over here. Let's go with 49. What is 10 to the second? Well, you keep the 5, and 10 to the second, or 10 times 10, is 100. Is 5 times 100 500? Yep. Same thing down here. 9 times 10 to the third. Well, what if you don't know what 10 times 10 times 10 is? Just do the, the trick you know. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 with three zeros. Is 9 times 1,000 9,000? Yes. And here's the last one. 7 times 10 to the fifth is 7 times a 1 with five zeros. A 1. A 1 with five zeros. 7 times 100,000 is 700,000. So those all made sense. Okay, turn the page to page 144. Now we're gonna, they're just gonna take us step by step for, for this. It says multiply a whole number by a power of 10. Multiply three by powers of 10 and look for the pattern. It's really, really simple. So when they did three times 10 to the first, it meant three times 10, which equaled 30. So when they do three times 10 to the second, it means three, there's the three, and then here's 10 to the second, 10 times 10. So if I go like this, well, what's three times one times one? It's three, and then pick up this red violet and color in the zeros. I have one, two. So it's gonna be a three with two zeros. The next one, three times one times one times one is three again. And how many zeros this time? Count them up and color them. There are three zeros this time. And the next one, I don't know why they put these in parentheses. Oh, because they broke up. Look at this. They did 30 times 10 to the third. So they just broke up 30 into 3 times 10, which is okay. You can do that. So 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Well, what's 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1? It's always going to be that 3. And how many zeros are there? Color them in and count as you go. There are four. So let's take a look at these numbers. We have a three with one zero, a three with two zeros, a three with three zeros, and a 30 with three more zeros, or you could say a three with four zeros. So that is the pattern here, is it's growing by one place value every time. It's shifting over, or you're adding a zero every time. Okay, on 56, 57, and 58, we're just finding the value. You don't have to write out what it means or what it stands for. You're just gonna find the value. So remember, you just cover up zeros. What's one times one? The answer is one, and then it should have four zeros. So there's the one, and now it needs four zeros. And just make sure you put the comma where it belongs. Next one. What's 2 times 1? Why am I covering up zeros? Because it's just easier to deal with at the end. 2 times 1 is 2 with 3 zeros. Is that a 2 with 3 zeros? Yes. Number 58. 62 times 10 to the second. Don't panic. 
What's 62 times 1? 62. And uncover zeros? Two zeros. So it's 6,200. These are the best. Getting to do these are so fun and it flies by really quickly. Um, let's go ahead and do 59 and 60. They're gonna look, you're gonna look for the pattern. It's pretty simple. Let's just make sure they're following the right pattern. 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth. Here's one zero, two zeros, three zeros, four zeros. So it's gonna follow this pattern. All you have to know is what seven times one is and then count zeros. Seven times one is seven. It's gonna be seven every single time. And it's just based on the number of zeros. So you can look right here and can color them in so you can see it needs to have one zero, or you can just look at the exponent. They both give it away. I'm just gonna look at the exponent. It needs to have one zero with it. It needs to have two zeros with it. This one needs to have three zeros. And this one needs to have four. Make sure you put commas in the right places. All right, do number 60. Ah. They told us the, the beginning and the end. They didn't tell us the using the exponent part. See how they broke up what the exponent meant? So we're just going to have to break up what these exponents mean. So 9 times 10 to the first means 9 times how many tens? 1. This one means 9 times how many tens? 2 of them. I can write 10 times 10, or I can do what they said and just write 100. Because two tens is 100 when you multiply them. It's going to be 9 every time. And then think about it. If this is 10, this is 100. What's this next one? 1,000 and then 10,000. So now you know how to solve with the answer, how to do the middle part. I wonder if there's ones where they left off the beginning. I don't think so. All right, let's hustle and get these done. Let's do 61. Um, 65 times 10 to the first means 65 times 10. Well, that's pretty easy. Just cover up zeros then and solve. So you're doing the solving on this one again. So what's 65 times 1? All of these say 65 times 1 if I cover up zeros. It's just going to be 65 every time. Then I just go and put the right amount of zeros. So you can look at the exponent or you can look at the zeros here. It doesn't matter. This one will have one. You get the pattern. So it went one, two, three, four. And then I go and put commas in the right place to start on the end and go one, two, three, drop a comma. One, two, three, drop a comma. One, two, three, drop a comma. Okay. I think the last one we're going to do is number 62. So they left off the middle piece this time. 523 times 10 to the first means 523 times how many tens? One. Now they want us to solve. 523 times 10 to the second means 523 times 100. What's 523 times 1? 523 and it has two zeros. Nice, put the comma where it belongs. They left off the middle. 523 times 10 to the third means 523 times, look at the pattern, this was 10, then 100, so 10 to the third means 1,000. Let's just check. Is it 523 with three zeros? 523 with three zeros. Nice, now solve. 523 times 10 to the 4th means 523 times a 10 or a 1 with 4 zeros. So what's 523 times 1? It's just 523. How many zeros does it get? 4. So it looks a little silly the way I just wrote it, but wow. 5,230,000. That's crazy. Okay, we're going to stop right there. I'm not going to have you do the rest, the other two, because I think it's pretty simple. You won't even have to do any of these powers of 10 today, but you will eventually. So it was good for us to get into that habit. 
Um, today's homework and remembering is pretty simple. Um, I'll let you just do that on your own, but it's all mental math. So you'll want to be very, very careful and get all of the mental math done. Um, it's not letting me zoom out. Sorry, we'll have to take care. There we go. So you'll have to do homework and remembering all on your own, but you'll cruise through it. Please go slow. Make sure you're counting zeros and that you do that correctly. Here is what we are cutting out. We're cutting out all the things. So I want the, the information here since we didn't write it in our journal. I want powers of 10. I think I just want... Um, Oh, I kind of want all of this stuff, but we won't we won't have to do all of it. Um let's do all the way to this part. So the beginning where it says powers of ten, keep the title and come around all the way to the bold that says write each expression. So I'll just show you. Don't throw anything away yet. You can cut your name off, but keep the title powers of 10. So I kept all the information since we didn't write any of that. And I'll get that glued in at the top. And then I'm trying to decide what I want on the bottom. It might be the rest of that paper, which is annoying. I should have just kept it all as one. But I like the work on the back as well. Hmm. I think I'm just going to let you keep the front page. I'm so sorry. We should have just kept it as one paper. It's good practice for you. <laughs> So I'm cutting out, just so you know, the rest of page 143. Any of the work I did, I'm keeping on the paper. I'm just kind of bubbling around it. And you might be wondering, did you keep the black rules, like the instructions? Yes, I did. So basically, I could have kept it as one paper, and I didn't, and you're welcome for that. So at the top of my journal, I have, this is on that back side of what we did earlier, I have the powers of 10, and then underneath it is the right each each expression is repeated multiplication. And then you can just get it glued in there just like that. And then good luck on homework and remembering there is Think Central today. So have a great time with that. See you next time.